jury will start their deliberations tomorrow and they'll have a lot to consider. They've heard well over two dozen witnesses watch the body camera footage from that night in 2019 and the paramedics interviews with police in the weeks after McLean's death. You've even heard from the paramedics themselves. Peter Chikuniak and Jeremy Cooper are charged with reckless manslaughter and assault for their role in the 2019 death of Elijah McLean. He'd done nothing wrong, but Aurora officers stopped him and threw him to the ground. The paramedics injected him with ketamine, a dose too big for his size. Throughout the trial, the defense had claimed McLean was out of control and fighting police while experiencing a condition called excited delirium. They say paramedics were following protocol here. There is no evidence either one of these defendants, either Mr. Cooper or Mr. Chikuniak, intended to hurt Elijah McClain. They were following their training. They were following their protocols. They were instructed about the wide margin of safety. Ketamine is safe. Excited delirium is dangerous. That's what it comes down to. But prosecutors stressed there was no justification for paramedics not to medically assess McLean. No justification to give someone who wasn't moving a sedative and no justification to ignore a lifeless patient for six minutes before taking his pulse. Our experts told you there was no medical purpose for him to get ketamine at this point. And what is the excuse that the defendants offer here? They say, well, we couldn't deviate from our protocol. Once we had decided to go down this protocol, we had to give ketamine. We had no choice. That's not true. The experts told you otherwise. Just how long the jury will deliberate, only they know. In the first trial involving two officers, the jury deliberated over the course of three days. The second trial involving just one officer, the jury took two days to come back with a decision. The jury in this third and final case will begin deliberations tomorrow morning.